Okay, so um, I applied for the role of um, a police constable at Gwent Police because um, I thought it was a brilliant opportunity to start my career. I love working with people and helping the community. Yeah, the reason I applied for a role of police constable at Gwent Police is that I am originally from Gwent uh, Force area. Um, I've got a lot of family there still now. And I feel it's just important for me to be able to work within that area that, and that community and to be part of a service um, that does represent that community, not just that community, but the UK as a whole. But, uh, you, know, you know, like put on being there is very important for me. OK, so the applica application process was quite long. Um, it took just over a year to finalise. It started off with all online assessments due to the coronavirus pandemic, um, which made the process a little longer than it initially was, I think. Um, the interview was, was, was fine. It was, you know, it was very, um, um, they, you know, they were very welcoming, made me feel at ease. Um, and from there, it was, it was pretty quick, going to your medical and, and, and um, the fitness test. And then the application date, uh, the appointment date was soon upon us. So, yeah, it was very easy and quick for me. Um, I think it's very different to any applications I've been to in the past. Um, it was very in-depth, um, which is understandable. Um, we had exams, three exams in total, and a lot of practical work, which we were examined on. We were examined for the entire course um, to make sure that when we do eventually come out into the community that we are ready for our roles. Like all I can describe about police training was from the first day, obviously, it's very nerve-wracking. Uh, you're walking in through the building. Um, some haven't had any knowledge of policing before. I was quite fortunate that I have, so I had a little bit of comfort there. Um, obviously, we spent in six months in, in a training environment, um, and I got to, you know, give a massive thanks to the staff there because it's difficult to, you know, in modern times with the coronavirus, you know, to carry on with that syllabus for six months. Um, I really enjoyed it. We get to know people. Obviously, we don't know them at the start. Within six months, we do become friends. Um, and it's good to see everybody grow throughout the six months, including myself. Um, obviously, a lot of emphasis was on our powers and, and laws, and, but a massive proportion is trying to care instilled in us uh, the, the importance of, you know, sort of supporting victims. Um, and going forward, that's what we've been drilled into us, and it's something that, you know, I feel that is what I would like to carry on throughout the rest of my sort of peace and career. biggest surprise throughout the, um, the programme so far is how well that they've managed it during the coronavirus pandemic, how much support we've been given by our um, staff members and working together as a team. I think I've been really lucky enough to have um, very supportive um, classmates um, and all the tutors, like I've said, have been really helpful with our programme and with the exams, helping us throughout it and I'm yeah, and I'm obviously really proud to be here today and proud of myself and happy that um, I've managed to. Obviously, it's the, the university set up, um, so we've got a big input from the criminology side as well. Um, so that adds a little extra layer to what we're learning. Um, whereas predominantly we were thinking going into training is going to be about law and police powers, but we're obviously looking at the wider concept, concept of crime. For me personally, the, the, the staff were great. Um, I did suffer family bereavement during my training and I had some time off and they were fantastic for me. Um, so I will never, you know, I will always be grateful for that. So, that will, so this training will definitely remain with me for a, a long time. You know. I think the studies will benefit uh, massively because it enables us to qualify, you know, sort of work towards a professional qualification. Um, obviously, we all want to be police officers and we want to be as professional as we can. So it does instill in us, you know, that professional concept even more. Um, and like I said previously, it does expand our knowledge beyond just law and powers. It does expand the wider concept of crime and criminology. Um, and I can only see a benefit in that going forward. It is going to be more work for us. Um, we've got to be structured. I have to be structured with it. Difficult if you've got a family, but it's something that I'm, you know, that I'm looking forward to, you know, to have that discipline and I'm sure with that discipline and, and the support, be okay. 
Yeah, I do know where I'm being posted. Um, I'm going up to Blaine Gwent. It's an area that I know re uh, very well. I am, I have spent predominantly a lot of my time close to Blaine Gwent. Um, I'm originally from Rumney, with family in, in Blaine Gwent. So I'm excited to go there. Um, I'm going on e-relief. Um, I'm fortunate enough, I do know some people on there ready because I did spend some time as a CSO in, in uh, Blaine Gwent. So having that um, little bit of local knowledge does help me. Um, and the first shift is on Monday the 4th of April, which is a second day shift, so it's an early start. Okay, yeah, I've got my family here today. We've been lucky enough to invite two of our family members, which is brilliant. Um, so my first shift is on Tuesday the 5th of um, April in Newport East. And I just feel really proud that I'm here and lucky enough to spend it with my family and all my friends.